Shukar Das. I am from BTEC final year, KT University, branch mechanical specialization in automobile. Recently, I got placed in TVS Motor Company, which comes with uh, in collaboration with BMW Motorrad. From 2016, they will be launching the BMW projects. Uh, I am here to share my knowledge and my experience how I got selected in TVS Motor Company. The selection criteria is quite lengthy. Uh, there are many phases. The first of all, this TVS Motor uh, comes uh, for recruitment in the form of Utkash internship program. The Utkash, in, Utkash internship program, there are various colleges which have been tied up with uh, TVS company. So, first of all, you need to apply online to the TVS Motor website in, under this career uh, subtitle. There, they will, they will, there will be uh, various criteria which you need to fill, which you need to uh, update yourself. First of all, you should have at least 80 percent and above percentage in 10th and plus 2. You should have 75 or 7.5 above CGPA in your graduation. Then you should at least, this is though not mandatory, but at least you should have participated in any of the SAE events, say Baha, Supra, FE cycle, etc. You should have at least in second year uh, summer training in or industrial training. Then you should have uh, a mini projects that is uh, any type of uh, home projects that you might have done in your college career in second year or in the third year. Then in the last and uh, very important is at least you should have some of the papers, research paper or any symposium conferences paper that you should have published. This is the main criteria and if you have successfully done or uh, successfully filled this criteria then you are very uh, correct path in joining the TVS motor. Along with this form you will have 3 uh, to 5 questions. Please be careful while filling these questions. These questions ask about your attitude and personality towards this uh, motors. Many various people they do not take this question seriously, but you need to take this question seriously and you need to write in a perfect manner. So, that uh, you have been shortlisted in the first round. The first round, the elimination round, they will be scrutinizing you based on your resume and the form that you have uh, given, you have submitted. This is the first round. The first round will be the technical as well as HR interview round, in which two persons from uh, TVS Motor R&D and one from HR of TVS, they will be visiting to your college campus or to some other college campus in your circle. Suppose you are in Odisha, so they might come to ITER or KIIT University. First of all, they will be asking you about your uh, project. If you have not done any project, then will be, they will be asking you on your uh, curriculum that is uh, mechanical engineering or electronics. Well, I would like to say not only mechanical engineering, here, here like uh, people from robotics, production, electrical, electronics, they are also eligible to apply for this. So, if you have done your project, so it will be better if from the beginning of the career, uh, I'm sorry, from the beginning of your interview, if you directly jump into your project. So, they will be asking you regarding that and this is a very easy technique to uh, pass through and uh, I will also like to say that the rejection or the elimination of this process is too high. Around 900 applicants had applied for this out of which only 110 got selected uh, in this first round of interview. So, after the first round that is the interview, a shortlist uh, candidate name will be uh, shown in the TVS Motor website. Then those member, those candidates, they will be called to the Hosur where the TVS plant is there in the HR uh, uh, hall. There you will be given free accommodation as well as the traveling allowance for third AC. There will be two days assessment in uh, TVS motor HR. First day will be uh, a series of uh, uh, rounds of written rounds. First will be your technical followed by aptitude, reasoning, psychometrics, but also there will be series of around 12 to 14 tests and uh, there is nothing to come prepare from uh, your institute because everything that they will be asking will be out of the box. So, you need to think out of the box, you need to be more creative because they will not be going for the traditional method of selection, their, their method is very uh, western kind of selection. So, first day as I said, uh, in the first day there will be series of uh, rounds, written rounds. 
So, they will be literally grilling you because every test will be for 15 minutes except uh, the first one that is from that is the technical objective. So, after this they, they will be having second round where they will be asking for you GD, but this GD will be a type of case study, case study in the sense they will be put you in a situation there will be a group of people of say 12, they will make a group of 12, they will be they will put you in a situation in which you need to evaluate yourself. In my case, they had put a situation, they are given a situation in which we are going in a flight and suddenly there was a crash and we had certain uh, equipments or certain material in the plane and we need to give the priority. So, every individual have some their own priority. Then they, thereafter they will be going for a group discussion and then they will put their priority in the number. And thereafter whose priority will be more uh, deviating from the decision or from the priority that has been decided by the group will get the less mark and the more closer you are to the group dis, uh, decision you are having a very you will be getting a very good mark. Then the next is the group activity, there, there will be a situation again or a case they will be giving then you need to uh, do a group activity for us then they gave, you, gave us a scrap very scrap items scrap materials and they asked us to make something out of this uh, waste. So, that uh, during that, that time Indi there was some matches match was going on cricket match of India versus some other country and they and India was of course, India uh, won that match. So, they said that uh, since India has won that match you need to make something out of this waste. So, that uh, we will be evaluating on I mean they will be evaluating us based on the model what we have made make. So, in that they will be seeing how cooperatively and how enthusiastically it, it is not a one man army game, it, it, you will be taking everyone together and then what you will, you will be making that will evaluate and the evaluator or the judge they will be uh, looking at you, you will be give, given a, a chest uh, number and so they will be uh, like registering all the points based on this chest number. Here was the day one assessment. The second day assessment comes out with the shortlist candidate of the day one that is uh, after the day one they will be uh, reading out the shortlisted candidate who has um, qualified this. So, the rejection is almost 50 percent after this day one. So, in the day two they will be having the HR interview and this interview really goes long around half an hour to in some cases one hour and more than that also. So, be prepared they will not be asking anything any technical stuffs. they will be very uh, general stuffs like whether you will be uh, you can accommodate yourself, you can uh, sustain uh, yourself in uh, TVS motor or not. So, these things they will be really taken care of and you need to be very uh, diplomatic in your answer, do not be too uh, harsh in your answer. So, they may ask, uh, also ask you some stress based questions. So, be uh, calm, quiet and be intellectually uh, very sound while telling this answer. So, here goes the second round. After the second day assessment, uh, the shortlisted candidate they will be uh, given the uh, opportunity of uh, internship, your names will be coming on to the QVS motor website. So, uh, in my case there were 900 applicants all India including NITs, NIT Surat and NIT Trichy and some of the good uh, institution of uh, south like RV College of Engineering and even from the north like IGIT New Delhi they had also come. So, out of 900 candidates around 31 candidates got selected for internship which comes along with the pre placement offer. Once you are selected for internship, you will get a mail from TVS Motor Company regarding your uh, project title and you will be also been assigned with a tutor mentor and one guide. The guide will be a design engineer or might be a line engineer and the mentor will be higher officer either in the post of manager or general manager. First of all, they, uh, the first two days it will be a uh, industry visit, you, you will be seeing all the assembly lines and everything. The second day will be an induction uh, program, from the third day itself you will be getting uh, the I cards uh, or the punch cards you will say. So, be particular when in coming and going from the plant, you need to come to the plant at 8 p.m. sharp, sorry 8 a.m. sharp and you need to leave by 5.30. So, you may also if, if, if you have more workload you can also stay back till 7.30 or till 12.30 at the night because the last bu bus goes from Hosur at uh, night 12.30 and be particular in your subject. 
So based on the project that you have got, you will be selected. If you are getting the PPO, you will be placed in that uh, particular department. For example, in my case, I got placed in R&D, Research and Development under Suspension Division. Since I got the project, my project was to make a thermal model of shock absorber. That is, whenever uh, a vehicle moves, certain uh, energy is been gained by the shock absorber, which has been uh, dissipated in the form of heat. So, like if a vehicle moves from one place to another, so how much heat will be produced, I need to find in a very analytical model and these things also I need to justify uh, under CFD model and under practical uh, environment. So based on the performance, there will be three uh, evaluation which will be conducted. First evaluation will be after the first 10 days, it will be taken by your line manager or your mentor. The second evaluation will also be taken by your mentor and the third and the last one where you need to make a presentation of around 10 to 15 slides. This is very vital because this evaluation will be taken by the professors from IIT Chennai and IIT Jodhpur. So based on the three evaluation, you will be given mark out of 100. Not only this, this is the technical part one, what I am saying. There are other criteria to judge based on your personal behavior like uh, how honest you are in your work, how dedicated you are in your work. So there are various other criteria. Uh, they will be judging you. So, based on this three uh, uh, criteria, that is the first one which will be taken by the line manager, then the line manager will be taking the another evaluation and the third one by the professors. Based on these three, you will be getting the PPO if you have done well. So, like in my case, 31 got 31 percent people got uh, this internship program and out of which 24 got selected for this pre-placement offer. So, the rejection you can see all over India around 900 candidate applied on out of which 24 only got placed and from Odisha I, I am the second person to get and there is one more fellow from ITER. I would like to advise all my junior to be a part of SAE society and SAE be a part of SAE projects because this uh, projects holds a uh, greater advantage. If you have done you have a higher place in as compared to the other interns or other uh, uh, candidates. Not even TVS motor, there are other companies like Fiat, Volvo, Mahindra, they, they, the SAE, being a part of a SAE member or being uh, you have participated in SAE uh, event is very important, in, in fact uh, mandatory for some of the companies. So I would request in, for all mechanical and electrical or electronic based people to be a part of any, any of the projects, say it SAE or say it some other club because it holds a greater importance and please maintain your career in 10th, 12th. And uh, in and keep a maintain maintain your CGP of 7.5 plus.